Welcome back to another Brian's Action Figure Review. And today I have got a brand new figure from the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Wave. Now I did say in my previous Retro Wave reviews that there was figures on new cards in this line. And this is one of them. As you can see, brand new card. Oh, lovely and lovely. So this is Chasm. Now when this wave was released initially, I did not buy this figure because I did not know who this character was. But between now and then, I have started reading the Dark Web storyline uh, over on the Marvel Infinite app. And this is actually Ben Riley. So I've gotten it. I do like this character now. I think it's pretty cool. It's a cool outfit for, for, um, for Ben. And yeah, it's an interesting take on the character, I must say. I haven't finished it, so I don't know exactly what's happened yet. But uh, I just came across him. Him and the Goblin Queen, I think it is. And yeah, I like this guy. So when so when it came to my other characters in the wave or about the ship, I said I made a split. I made a quick decision, and I said, "Look, I'll get him because I probably I'm going to finish that story soon anyway, and I'll probably end up regretting missing out on this guy." So yeah, let's check out the box for Kazum. So let's check out the new packaging for the Spider-Man Legends Marvel's Chasm. As you can see, there's a new darker background to this new packaging and you've got chasm here in this absolutely fantastic shot you see the character nice and well i love that we've got windows again and uh, this is a legend series here now the cards are quite tough which is a big big plus you've got a big picture here of the character it does say a near fatal battle between peter parker and his clone leaves ben riley rising from the quantum goo as the villainous chasm and he's got a load of legalese here. And there isn't a lot more to it, really. It's a pretty nondescript packaging. So let's do what the best people do and get him out of the box. No disrespect to MOC card holders, though. So here is Chasm up on the Swing of Majig. And so far, uh, I'm not overly impressed by this figure. It, it does look very, very nice, as you can see, with all the different colors there. It's designed really well. The first thing I'll say is, I don't think they picked the right body for this guy. He just, he does have all the articulation, but he seems very clumsy and he does have pins in both the arms and knees as well. Again, like I've, bat <laughs> I've moaned about pins a long time for a good few reviews now. I think they really should just get rid of them all together going forward. Uh, I'm surprised they haven't done it in more going forward. I've gotten a lot of the new releases lately and lots of them have the old bodies but uh other getting away from that chasm himself does look very like the it is exactly like the the character in the comics it's designed really really well and painted perfectly i, I can say that and yeah so let's get him down properly and take a look at what he comes with and get into the articulation and stuff so here is chasm down off the swing of magic as you see, like I did complain a little bit about the body a while ago, but you can pull off some pretty decent poses with this guy. And I think for the most part, he has been done really, really well. Accessories wise, he doesn't come again, like I mentioned it in a few other reviews in this wave, but there isn't a whole lot of accessories with this wave. You do get these two things for his hands, and we've seen these come with loads of other characters in the past, like the Pyro and Loads of countless other characters of different colour as well. So they just go in his hands. You know the deal by now. I'm kind of bummed that we didn't get a second alternate head. Now that I've read on the story a bit. With his other look where he has the horns. And that would have been really cool. But I presume they might do that on an, a bigger body or, or a different body in the future. Because he's kind of gotten more powered up again after that I think. But uh, yeah like... I'm, I'm really glad they decided to do this this look because they could have easily skipped over it and not done it at all and it, it, like this isn't a major it's kind of a footnote I know I know it's a big storyline but I hadn't heard of it like and, I, and I'm kind of up I'm, I'm up a bit on the comics a little bit but I hadn't heard on it, heard of it like, of course using the Marvel app I'm six months behind all the time but, but yeah that's the problem with that but overall, I kind of kind of like this this figure. Um, I do like they have the body does 
feel wrong to me, but it's not as bad as I initially thought. Paint wise, it's excellent. No trouble there. Again, for me, like it would be the lack of accessories and pins on this guy. Like look at the face or the head, the, yeah, the face. He's really, really good. I love the kind of, the way the mask kind of drips off and it blends down into the rest of the costume making up the spider which is really cool yeah it's just done really well i'm very happy with this now i know we never got the gob goblin queen with the ghost rider has lab debacle but i'm wondering does does this give her another chance of being done maybe i don't know they could do it but no one has but they're going to be petty and they won't but uh let's put those accessories on I think anyone who's um, into the Legends line knows how they work now anyway. So they just go on the hands just like that. Just like that, sir. There you go. And they look all right. Like, you don't really need them, though, in my opinion. They're just a cheap little throw-me-in. Uh, and as for articulation, so you can get a good look up in the, the head. You go look down. You can go tiny bit side to side and get a whole rotation easy you get a really good like t-joint really stress the arms a bit uh, you've got the butterfly joints of course that I showed you a while ago they can go back that far and they can go in this far as well it does have bicep swivels and double jointed elbows like all good legends you get a rotation on the wrists and an in and out you do get ab crunch and waist swivel. Legs will go out this far, up this far. Get a tight swivel and a double joint knee. You can kick his own butt. And he's got a boot swivel and ankle rockers. So he can do all the usual stuff. He's not as articulated as some of the other Spider-Man figures though. And I think he should be since he is Peter Parker after all. He should definitely be as articulated and probably on the same body as Peter Parker because he is Peter Parker. He's a clone of Peter Parker. I don't get how they haven't figured this out. He is, is Spider-Man, so he should have the same body, in my opinion. Obviously not Miles Morales because that's a different Spider-Man. But uh, yeah, despite all that, I do like this, this figure. Again, lack of accessories could have come with webbing. That second hand, more hands. He only comes with two punching hands. Again, very, very mean. He just comes with these two things. So I will give him a six out of 10 in must, must try harder section, I think. So six out of 10 for Chasm. And points lost for lack of accessories, wrong body and for articulation and stuff. Uh, yeah, so that's it. So an average figure for me, but good to have the character, I suppose. So yeah, guys, let me know what you thought of this review. Would love to hear your views below in the comments and hit that like button if you do feel generous. And if you feel even more generous, hit that lovely big subscribe button and stay tuned to the channel for more. Uh, I do reviews all the time. So yeah, hopefully you'll see something you like eventually. And if not, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the watch hours you give me. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a great day. Bye.